Aloha, BBs. Welcome to Wolfman's Friday Night Fights, and boy, do I got some action for you this evening. We're here at Desert Force 22, straight out of Jordan. Middleweight bout for you tonight. We have the American over here, Daniel Cooper. Zero and one in MMA, War Lions out of Kuwait. Coming here to Jordan to take on the more experienced Egyptian, Ibrahim al Sawi, six foot two inches tall with a five and three record, fighting out of Cairo. And guys, having spent some time over there myself, I might have bumped into this guy at a coffee house, who knows? The Egyptian guys are always very aggressive, and look at that. We got Mark Goddard as a referee. They touch him up. The guy wants to touch it up not once, not twice, but, oh, three times is the charm. And Mark Goddard will get him ready to go. The Egyptians are usually aggressive strikers. They go all out the first round and usually gas out after that. They claim we tie, but it's much more a Sonda style striking style with headlocks and hip throws thrown in for good measure with very little experience on the ground. Cooper coming out 0-1, but he comes out with a double jab. Both guys' strength and conditioning program looks like it's on to the uh, eyeball test. There's all kinds of shops in Cairo, Egypt. Oh, Cooper goes in for that Body lock, but gets countered with the hip throw. Ibrahim slides straight in a mount up against the cage. UFC EA video game style. Lands some punches and a couple short arm shivers. But getting rolled over, bridged over by Cooper there into the guard. Ibrahim throwing up the legs, but not sure what to do because that arm is not in the right position to do an Uma Plata or Gogo Plata. So, quite frankly, I don't know. It's a scrambling action. They're back down the feet. Ibrahim throws two punches and a left high kick, and now they're going to take a breath of fresh air. Time to look in the mirror, get some wind back, and figure out who goes next. Ibrahim stalking a bit. Let's see if Cooper's got another burst in him. He's an American, but fighting out of Kuwait. Oh, Cooper catches him with three right hooks. Sends Ibrahim back and his mouth guard flying as well. Mark Goddard says, five-second rule. Put that thing back in. I've got some toddlers of my own. I don't need a deal with you, son. In the replay here, we see Cooper landing those three short hooks. And back to the steering game. I'm sure it will heat back up eventually. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? Ibrahim stalking him against the cage. Looks like Ibrahim has about a two inch height advantage. And being a southball, he can probably use that to quite an advantage with his left kicks. He slips the punch, right hook, left high kick, lands. Cooper comes in. Ibrahim stalking him now. The body kick gets caught, but lands three hooks of his own and another left high kick. Oh, that one gets jammed. Cooper on top. Side control. Little off balance. Oh, and Ibrahim takes advantage, rolls him through with a headlock. Landing some good ground and pound now. Igor Vovchanchin style, throwing it back to the pride days. Cooper scrambling back up on a single leg, manages to square into his opponent, gets the tight waist again, needs to reap that leg while it's still there off the cage. Both guys showing a bit of inexperience there, but when the burst come, the burst comes fast and furious. Ibrahim framing the neck, lands an inside knee, looking to wrap up the neck there. Got the arm in, though. See if he goes for it. Oh, knee to the body. To the bread mask. Now he jumps to guard. 
Buddy lets go of that right away. Looks like he's trying to step that leg through for a triangle. Buddy's compressed up against the cage. Not a good tactical move there. Cooper on the back, but a little high. Might get flipped over. Tries for the Sioux play, but no, son, you're not Dan Severn. Not sure if Ibrahim is Anthony Macias either. Grabbing the cage, though. Goddard ain't going to like that. Come on, boys. Keep it fair. Don't grab the cage. One point. One point, says Mark Goddard. He's not, happen, not having any of this top foolery. And he restarts the action. Cooper on the back. Got the tight waist. Manages to knee bump him down. Let's see if he can keep him down. No, oh, Ibrahim rolls out, rolling thunder style on the ground and comes out in the scramble on top. Goes for the guillotine. The arm is across. He's going for the catcher arm through guillotine, the special catcher arm through guillotine. I don't know who might have been in the Middle East, Northern Africa region at that time teaching for Distinct entries to the catcher arm through guillotine. He's on the back now, landing some good hammer fists and punches. Looking for the rear naked choke. Oh, but there's only 15 seconds left. Can Cooper survive? Ibrahim needs to get his arm free. Alsawi looking for the choke, but running out of time. And there it is, folks. I don't know. I think I'd definitely give the first round to Al Sawi, though we see a replay here of three hooks from Cooper, though Cooper is the one who gets his mouth guard bashed out. Cooper getting on top here, but in the scramble, Kazushi Al Sawi rolls him through and going for the catch jitsu special catcher arm through guillotine. Was Al Sawi look at this rolling thunder on the ground? Sort of Gramby rolling action gets him off of him. Cooper getting his leg shaken out. Luckily, we got a ring card girl to tell us it's round two because we wouldn't be able to count that high without them. Cooper starting to look relaxed here. Throwing up a little prayer. He's going to know he's having fun now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he can come back with that positive attitude. Al Sawi looked like his muscles were blowing up with a little bit of too much blood. Though Cooper is taking some heavy breaths himself. Goddard looks for permission to start round two, and here we go. Cooper needs to learn how to fight softball. There he goes, stepping to the outside gate. Should really throw a 2-3-2 two, two down the pipe right now. There's some punches getting more aggressive here. Got him jammed up, a hipping in, jammed up against the cage, hipping in again. Good balance here by Cooper. Manages to land in hot half mount. But he doesn't have the underhook. He needs to get an overhook on that arm or Ibrahim might start to scoot his hips out. Let's see him shrimp out now. Oh, he's going for a little mouth smother. Affecting the breathing patterns of his opponent. A knee slide pass into Kesa Gatami. Someone's been watching Ultimate Kesa Gatami videos on YouTube, but he needs to settle that weight down. El Sawi tries to squirm out the back, but he's open to the mount from Cooper. Cooper going to sit up. There we go. Donkey Kong style hammer fist and right long hooks getting through the guard. Jeff Goddard telling you to protect yourself, protect yourself, protect yourself at all times. Ibrahim giving up the back now. He did not like those punches. Cooper needs to flatten him out like a pancake here. You need to go under those armpits and stretch him out Superman style. And a couple good punches here. Goddard saying no back to the head. Looking for the choke, but gives up on it. What's he going to do here? Is he going to go for more punches? Oh, there's a couple good under the armpit. 
Under the armpit punches are always effective right to the chin. He can't see them coming. Oh, he lifts the head up. And Ibrahim does tapity tap, tap, taps out. The American Cooper coming away with the win in Desert Force in 22 in Jordan. Goes to check on his opponent, but Al Sawi looking gassed. He was having none of it. He tapitied out like a little girl. Cooper coming away with the win on the much more experienced Ibrahim Al Sawi. Let's see, maybe we can get a replay of that finishing action. Guys, stick with me as I'll be doing Friday night fights all the time. We see Cooper getting busy with his hands, hipping in. He manages to get mount off of it. And that's just about all she wrote, folks. Landed the punches. Got her given the warning. So he eventually turns down. But those under, under the armpit punches, just like you used to give your little brother when fighting over the Transformers, does him in. Tappity tap tap. Guys, I'll bring you all the action at Desert Force in the Middle East, as well as other events out of Asia if you are so inclined. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the action, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody.